हेलो ऑल माय नेम इज अब्दुल रहमान एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वेलकम टू अनदर प्रोजेक्ट वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ की लॉगर यूजिंग पाइथन सो लेट्स गो अहेड एंड गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइस एज यूजल आई एम गोइंग टू यूज हेयर दी विजल स्टूडियो कोड आईडी सो इन दिस वन आई हैव क्रिएटेड ए फोल्डर कॉल्ड एज द की लॉगर फोल्डर नाउ इन दिस वन आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट हेयर ए फाइल पाइथन फाइल कॉल्ड एज द की logger dot py okay now here we are going to use here the one library called as the py input so let's import this but before importing this i am going to install this on our laptop on our computer okay so i have already installed this so i am going to get the requirement already satisfied i am going to type if install py and put okay now i am going to get the requirement already satisfied so anyhow let's import this from the py and put dot keyboard we are going to import the, the from this class we are going to import the key okay and then after that we are going to import something called as the listener okay so i am going to give listener now we have imported this but now we are going to create here a function called as the on press now guys our program is we are going to write such a program whenever we run the program after that whatever the keys that we press it's going to be stored in a file okay and that and the file is going to be exported here in this folder the txt file okay so anyhow let's import let's create this so i'm going to give the def on the press i'm going to give here the keys okay sorry key this is going to be a new parameter after that i am going to give the global 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 uh, and we are going to call here something called as the keys comma the count now you might be thinking what actually are these keys and the count so i have to create here a list and a variable so i am going to give the count which is equal to 0 and the key which is equal to this is going to be a list okay not a dictionary so this is going to be a list so i have created something called as the count then we have the list then we will be appending the keys in this list so anyhow after this i am going to give the keys dot append and we are going to give here the key that we have used the parameter now before giving we have to specify what it is like it's an integer or it's a string or it's a decimal so i'm going to give this is going to be a string in this one i'm going to give here the key okay now i'm going to give here the count plus or equal to 10 okay i'm going to talk about i have given the count plus or equal to 10 later on but for now okay but for now i'm going to write this as it is then we are going to use here the if statement and it's going to be the count which is greater than or equal to the 10 okay so the count that we have to give here is going to be the 0 and this is going to be the 10 anyhow now we are going to write here we are going to create here a function called as the write to file where we are going to store whatever the keys that we have pressed in the file in a file okay so for that i am going to give write to file so this is not going to be function we will be creating the function later on but here i am going to give here the count which is equal to 0 okay now i am going to give here the keys which is going to be the empty a list that we have already created right now i am going to create here a function called as the def write write to file now after some time we are not going to get here the error because we have already created the function so i am going to call here the keys and then i am going to so i have called this as a parameter okay now we are going to open this with the log.txt with open i am going to give log.txt now the reason that they have given is whatever the, the keys that we have pressed 
is going to be exported in this file called as the log.txt. So I'm going to give it the A. Then, yeah, I'm going to open this as the F. Okay. Now I'm going to give for key in the keys. Okay. So we are going to give here the semicolon because this is a for loop. And we are going to say K, which is going to be the key dot replace. So we are going to replace the space or the quotation marks here. For example, I'm going to give the key dot replace, key dot replace, and I'm going to give something called as the quotation marks. Okay, how about this one? Something like this. Yeah, wait. I have to give like this. Sorry, like this. Okay. Now it's going to work. But here we have given something like this. Now we are going to use here the if statement. So here I am going to give the key which is going to be double equal to the space. Okay, key dot space space. Now the thing that we are actually saying is wait, space. Now the thing that we are saying is if the key, the key that we have given for key, yeah. Now, the first thing that we have done here is we have created a parameter called as the key. Okay, after that, we have given the keys dot append, which we are appending whatever the key is here in this list. After that, we are saying it's going to be a key. Okay, now here again, we are using here the key called as the for key in keys. Now, whatever it's in the keys, right, that we have created in this list, it's going to be in the key, right? So, you might be confused. So anyhow, so we have the k, we have created a new variable called as the k, which is equal to the key dot replace. So we are saying that it should be replaced this one by this one. Now after that, we are saying if the key is equal to the key dot space, which means the letter, the key on our keyboard, the space, if it is equal to the space, then we are saying it should be given the as the space, not the not as the key dot space right so i'm going to give the k is equal to the brackets uh, the quotation marks and the space okay now i'm going to use here the lf which is key dot find okay key dot find and in the brackets key okay now we are going to if it is greater than zero Okay, if it is greater than zero, then I'm going to say that k is going to be the equal to the quotation marks. At the end, we are going to write this. We are going to end this up with the f dot write in the k. So whatever we are writing here, it should be written in a, in the variable called as the k. Right? At the end, we have to release this. Right? Then we press ESC on our keyboard. Then the program should be the, then the program should stop running okay so for doing this i'm going to give you a def on the release on the release i'm going to say something called as the key then the the semicolon okay now we are saying if the key is double equal the key is double equal to key dot esc so that's what we are saying like if when we press if the key sorry the key that we have created if it is equal to this space then the esc key on our keyboard then it should be return false so we are going to at the end the code at that time so we are going to open this the listener listener and yeah in the brackets i'm going to give here on so I'm going to give here the on press that we have created. Then the comma we are going to store here the values after some time on the release after some time this one. Yeah. I'm doing, going to give as the listener. Okay. Listener. Okay. Now it's going to work. Now what we have to do is we have to give here something called as the listener. Yes, listener dot the join. Okay, now here we are getting the error because we have to give here the on 
on press and here also same thing on the release right now right now we are not going to get any errors so let's run this program and let's see what we are going to get the output so we are, we are going to so we have already created this just using the 30 lines of python program now if you want to implement this then you can implement on whatever you want so let's run this python program now this is running so i'm going to type l so here we are getting key code error right so let's check what is the error key dot esc so this is going to be the capital key remember otherwise we are going to get the errors later on so let's run it again now let's type i'm going to type please subscribe okay now here we are now let's end this code or let's say i'm going to type the vs code now i'm going to press the esc on my laptop now it's done exited with code equal to zero in 20.236 seconds now let's check that the file has been created or not so as you can see the log.tx log.txt let's check so as you can see the please subscribe i have written here the mistake then i have pressed here the backspace right so we are going to get that if you want to remove the backspace that when you press the backspace then the key called as the backspace should be pressed something like that if you want to edit you can edit that so anyhow guys that's all for this video and i hope you liked and enjoyed watching this video and you can find the code link in the description below so, and i will see you all in another tutorial thanks for watching and goodbye